That is the wow. kind of stuff that your son would dig. Oh, we would have. I wish I had known because yeah. we're in western Colorado all week. We went down to Mesa Verde, it's Sand Dunes. We, we could have went to Grand Junction. Check that out. <laughs> Darn it. All right. It's good stuff. Hey, good day out there uh, to do some flying this morning. The clouds are starting to build, but we've still got a lot of blue skies and sunshine out there. There's a live look uh, from our rooftop camera looking towards the mountains. You can see some cumulus clouds building up, and we do have a chance of thunderstorms for some of us uh, this afternoon. I'll show you who has the best shot coming up here in uh, just a little bit. Temperature Temperature wise, uh, here we go right now. We're in the 80s, 81 Fort Collins, 87 at the airport. We're 81 in Colorado Springs right now, and we're starting to heat up out west as well. Diane Sprague, our weather watcher, northwest of Brush, coming in with 87 already out there. Now, there are a few clouds, as we told you, building out west. The bigger one just outside of Conifer here, and that may be the first area that we start to see some thunderstorms develop with moisture coming up from down south. Already a few thunderstorms in southern Colorado across the San Juans and the Sangre de Cristos outside of Alamosa, Manassa, in uh, San Luis down there in the southern stretches of the state. Now that's moisture trying to get up from down here in uh, southern New Mexico and northern Mexico. Uh, but this ridge, this warming ridge of high pressure, too strong, so it's kind of filtering all that moisture coming up. So that's where the heat's going to come from today and again tomorrow. But watch what happens once we get into midweek. Our temperatures today, that's where the heat is, 90s and 80s right here across the Rockies. But as that warming ridge slowly starts to move out to the east, it will open the door for more monsoon moisture to flow around it and come in here. So by the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, our chances for seeing showers and thunderstorms with measurable moisture will be going up considerably. But for today, the best spots for seeing these thunderstorms form will probably be South Jeffco, Park County, Douglas County, Albert County, right along the Palmer Divide, down into Colorado Springs and Pueblo down here. So uh, some of us might get a thunderstorm going on, but most of us will stay dry as we go through the afternoon and evening today. High temperature. Oh, by the way, a few of those storms from the springs back to Lyman and Burlington that do form could have some hail in them, one or two of those. So we'll watch for that. Not widespread, but uh, there is a chance. 90s and 80s across the lower elevation of Colorado today. So another hot summer day out there. We're looking at 93 in the city, 96 tomorrow, 94 on Wednesday. Each day about a 20% chance of thunderstorms and then Thursday and Friday, we really tap into some monsoon moisture. The chances for storms go up to about 50%. And the temperatures drop a little bit too. Right now, I think, Alan, really mm -hmm. the best day for seeing some good soaking rains will be in the afternoon on Thursday. That's when a good monsoon surge comes our way. Does that bring hail? Might have a little bit of hail with that too. Okay. Yeah, kind of go hand in hand this time of year. All right, Dave, thank okay, you very you much. Bet. You can get the full forecast at your fingertips.